Hey, what's up? Today, I want to make a video and share how you can play Guild Wars 2 on Linux. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because unfortunately, as of right now, I read that the company that does Guild Wars 2 isn't supporting Linux users. And so whenever you try to install the game and download the game, it's only available on Windows, and so it's not available on Linux, and surprisingly, it's not also available on Mac. Now, fortunately for us, there's a way to play the game using Steam, and also with the help of Steam Proton, and also with some tinkering. And so first of all, Guild Wars 2 is available on Steam, and so the first thing that you might want to do is obviously add it to your library and download the game. And once this is done, we now need to enable Steam Proton in the settings. So we're going to go into Steam and go into the settings. And then here there's this tab, this menu here called compatibility. And here we basically want to uh, enable everything. And so here uh, we're going to restart later here and here we're just going to make sure that we can run other titles with Proton and so here uh, make sure that you can use the latest version of Proton and so here I'm using uh, Proton Experimental and so here I'm gonna restart to make sure to apply the settings alright so now if we come back to where we were compatibility now we run all the titles with Proton and everything is enabled, so that's pretty good. And so basically Proton is a compatibility tool that allows us to run and play games that would usually be only available on Windows. And so this is pretty cool. Now the last thing that we need to do is to make sure that we can connect our ArenaNet account to Guild Wars 2. Because since we're using Steam, by default, Guild Wars 2 is going to use some sort of Steam account. And so we don't really want that. I'm just going to show you real quick. If we launch Guild Wars 2 without any uh, tinkering here, without, without any change, then it is going to ask us for the display name and basically we're going to create an account using the Steam account. And so that might be good for you if you already have a Steam account or if you don't have any accounts. But overall, I think that it is probably best to avoid third party uh, accounts whenever possible. And so here, by using some sort of Steam account here, all of our progress and all of our character and all of our account is going to be linked to Steam. And so in my case, I already have an ArenaNet account with all sorts of characters on it and some sort of progress on it. And so I obviously want to use that account. And so what I need to do then is that I need to go into uh, the properties of Guild Wars 2. And so here I simply right click on the game and go into properties. And then what we want to do now is that in the launch options here, we want to paste the little code here, which is called some sort of provider portal. And so you simply paste this little code inside. And so here we can simply save and close. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we play again, if we launch the game again, instead of having this public name thing, what we get instead is that we get the normal a reading that launcher where we can actually enter our account. And so here I'm simply going to enter my credentials to my uh, Guild Wars 2 account. I can log in and then I can play. And so from here I'm able to see my characters and log in. And so just like that I'm now able to play the game. And so in conclusion, as of right now, a reading that does not seem to support Linux users. But thankfully, we can play Guild Wars 2 through Steam and Steam Proton and with some sort of uh, tinkering with the low code. That being said, I haven't played that much so far and it seems a little bit buggy to me and so sometimes I get some sort of error codes or whatever. And the loading seems a little bit long too, so I'm not sure if it's related to the fact that I'm on Linux. But I'm able to log in into the game and move around in the game and play the game. And so that's pretty much it for this video and I hope that this video was helpful to you. If this video was helpful to you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts and comments could also be valuable to other people. So that's pretty much it. Peace.